Hey YouTube, it's me, Udoka in my car, where I talk about my mental health and whatever I want. And let's talk about this creep show art because I'm still with the ish. Every day, somebody posts a new video about this girl, and I click it. I don't know. I just like hearing everybody's reaction to the messiness. But I understand why creep show art is messy. So here's my perspective. For those of you who still can't wrap your head around, why would she do what she did? It's two things, okay? Number one, ego preservation. Number two, sense of control in life. Let me explain. First of all, you gotta understand that this girl thinks very low of herself. Oh, let me move my car so my engine don't overheat, whatever. You have to understand that this girl sees herself, she describes herself as lower than dirt. Now, one could argue, oh no, no, when she said that, she was kidding. I don't think she was kidding. She is so self-deprecating and she has done enough interviews where she reveals that she has low self-esteem. So those two, you know, those two understandings combined lets you know that this girl thinks very low of herself. And when she says she's lower than dirt, she means it. <laughs> she means it. She really does not think highly of herself low self-esteem, low self-image, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's very much C.K. Lewis. Is that his name? Child, earlier I was calling that comedian C.S. Lewis. Child, Google C.K. Lewis and Google C.S. Lewis, okay? These are two completely different human beings. Um, but, you know, if you don't know C.K. Lewis, he's that comedian. Okay, I need to go to, I need to go to the dollar store. It's right here. Yes. Coming through, manifesting. C.K. Lewis, his humor was depression. Okay, that was his humor and very self-deprecating. And then, you know, when the Me Too movement came around, we was like, oh, honey, we know you're depressed, but you, you didn't have to do all that, girl, child. He was whipping out his ding along. You know, if you were a female co actress with him, you gotta be, you gotta watch out because he just might knock on your dressing room door, knock, knock, whip out his little ding along. Like, you don't mind if I just stand here and, and jerk it, do ya? <laughs> you don't gotta, you don't have to do anything. Just, yeah, just keep, just keep looking at all. Yeah. Okay, that's what he was doing, honey. Child, that's what he got canceled for. Mm. But my point is, he just kind of showed, he's an, another case study of, you need to be careful with these people who do too much self-deprecating. Like, they do it too much, even if they're funny. See, he, that CK dude was fun. I thought he was hilarious. Okay, I, I related to some of that stuff. Even if they're funny, the, it, it, creep show art isn't even funny. She wasn't even funny when she did it. It was very, it was very like, you know, it's very. I don't know how you how you say. It. You ever been? You ever go out with someone? You ever meet somebody or try befriend somebody? And they just start saying negative things about themselves. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, if they're big, they'll be like, "Oh, you're so cute in that outfit. I wish I could wear that, but I'm so fat." It's like I. You feel so uncomfortable. You you don't feel comfortable because it's like, what, what what is this? Am I am I? Can you please figure out your own way to self generate co confidence and self worth? Do, do you do you? It makes you feel uncomfortable. Like do do you want me to to pity you? Like what is this? That that's what creep show art was doing. Okay, so. All that to say, when you think so low of yourself, you have to, you have to figure out a way to feel like you have control in your life. And also you have to create an identity for yourself that you can live with because humans have egos. 
okay ego is not a bad thing ego is a natural thing to have you need to have it if you don't have an ego if you were to exist as a human being in this world with no ego you wouldn't be participating you wouldn't participate okay you 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 have an ego you just do okay and in order to live with yourself you have to create an ego that you can tolerate and it's not many people that can tolerate an ego where they are literally lowered in dirt okay it's not like most humans cannot tolerate that like what 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 tends to happen with humans who 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 think lowly of themselves and they're unable to create an ego they can tolerate what tends to happen is they unalive themselves okay so creep show art did not opt to unalive herself thank goodness okay she opted to create an ego however her approach um she just think baby she just needs to, to to see a therapist like that's oh wow this is a brazilian church right here um she just needed to see a therapist to to learn some some tools but what she chose to do was she chose to uh attack people that she felt were worse than her people who were worse than her okay so oh this is a driver's egg my bad hold on let me get let me get out y'all's way I forgot that this is where they do driver's ed right here because I had to do parallel parking that was a little pose right there okay let me get out of y'all's hair so um that's what she chose to do that that's why and that's also why I never subscribed to her I I subscribed to her off of like one or two videos and then I started seeing the real her seeping through I started smelling the I started smelling the performative performative she's she the how now if you were her friend I can I can see how you didn't see it because when you befriend someone or date someone it's easy to push off the red flags but for the rest of y'all I don't know how you didn't smell the performativeness from a mile away because what she tended to do and it makes me very uncomfortable it doesn't matter who we're talking about we could be talking about a serial unaliver who uh, ours everybody in the world we could be talking about the worst human being alive and if your criticism isn't more focused on what that person did wrong and why it's wrong if your if your criticism is more focused on just making fun of that person i you are performative to me you you have major red flags for me this is why i made that video a while back about i unsubscribed from the dad dad challenge podcast because that guy is like that guy is the older male version of creep show art okay um i don't know what kind of skeletons that dude has in his closets but he has skeletons um and if you don't know who i'm talking about child count, consider yourself blessed consider yourself blessed if you don't know who that man is but anyway when you when you seek so much pleasure from mocking and berating another human being versus discussing what they did wrong and what they need to do to to fix it if 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 the actions and ideologies are not what you have the most issue with and what you have the most what what you have most enjoyment doing is just making fun of the person red flag and that when i looked at her other videos at the time i was like oh no no this i need to unsubscribe from this girl it's very much like when tana mojo puts hashtag blm in her bio it's like baby remove that 
Remember, you you know very damn well you don't give a damn about no uh, BLMs. <laughs> you remove remove that, delete that. Like it's better to just say nothing than to than to play the game. Please, please. It's 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 that's another discussion. Anyway, that's how she is. And she does it because it makes her feel better about herself. Because she feels like, at least I'm not as bad as this person. And I am going to put myself on a pedestal because I'm calling out that person who's worse than me. That was her spiel. That was her shtick. And that's how she developed an ego she could tolerate. That's how she was able to sleep at night. And she does it, and whenever she's feeling bad in real life, she ups the ante because she needs to replenish her sense of self. Um, it also allows her to have control because she started growing a big audience. What she says, she can say one word and obliterate your channel and your reputation. And when she's trolling with her sock accounts, she feels control over another person's life. Like ima imagine your imagine your creep show art. You think very low of yourself, but you know you're ha you're having a bad day. You know your boyfriend is making you live in a car, <laughs> or whatever the hell they were doing, honey. I don't know what they was doing. And you had a fight with him and your boss was mean to you and what have you. So to gain some sense of control in life, you go and harass Emily Artful. It, can, you, can you feel the power? I mean, you're probably like, no, I don't feel the power. Honey, that, that means you're, you're okay. <laughs> that probably means you're okay in the head but to somebody who thinks they're lower than dirt that feels like power very much hashtag free Britney Britney Spears said my dad gets drunk off the power the power he feels that he can control me like one of the top selling female pop artists in history, me. Most recognizable voice, me. He can control me. her. Britney's dad loved that feeling. Creep show art loves that feeling. So now she has a sense of ego and she has a sense of control. She's able to exist, okay? She's able to exist. That's why she did does what she does. Um, Gabby Hanna just recently she posted some videos talking about why she was acting all why, why she was wilding earlier this year. And she said it made her feel good to feel like she had the power to to cause all this chaos. She had the power to to everybody put her name in their video titles. Like she it made her feel good. But then she realized it doesn't make me feel good enough. Well, actually, what would make me feel good is to um, be happy with myself and live my life. That would make me feel even better. So she stopped whiling, okay? Creepshow Art didn't stop. Creepshow Art was never able to come to that conclusion that Gabby Hanna came to. I think Gabby Hanna has a therapist. So maybe that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, honey. I don't know. But Creepshow Art does not, <laughs> okay? Creepshow Art needs, a th she she needs some help. She needs help. Like, she like this woman is a miserable woman. She, she by every metric, other than financial, baby, I don't know. Like, how can you have, how can you be making ten thousand fifteen thousand dollars a month for talking into a camera and and like with that much money and you ain't live in a car like you have no expenses like 
why why are you you doing why are you using your time like this like you could be you could be chilling in in dubai like <laughs> you could be all the way chilling i don't this she needs she needs help obviously but i understand why she did what she did to develop her ego and have a sense of control now that illusion has been shattered i don't know she i would imagine that she is having a dark night of the soul she is for the first time in her life being forced to confront who she is and have to decide if she wants to change or if she will just find another outlet we don't know we don't know i suspect that she will just try to find another outlet and she'll just create a new persona um and try to get into a different group you know a different online group i don't know the anime people i don't know honey but that's what i that's what i suspect because it's very hard for people to change um especially if you're not especially if they are not themselves seeking help to change um it's 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 hard it, it it takes it takes for somebody who's not seeking help to change it would take years of being hit over and over on the head about this issue so this happening one time to creep show art she ain't gonna change but anyway i hope you understand why she did it by no means does this mean that we empathize with why she did it we don't empathize we don't sympathize because there are so many other options right like a lot of times we we can empathize with somebody who did something wrong because we when we understand why would they do that and we empathize because we we wonder if we were in that position would we feel the same would we feel that there was no other option than this gypsy rose is a good example the girl who on the left her mom because the mom had complete control of this girl's life and set it up in a way that society and the world thought she's mentally handicapped and about to freaking die of cancer okay this girl had no control and no way to get help even if she ran away even if she ran away and somehow got the money to like dip out she like people empathize with gypsy rose because it's like oh crap maybe there maybe there really was no way out okay right but with this uh shannon creep show art there's so many other options if you feel like you're low in dirt and you need to have a sense of self there's so many other things that you could do you can freaking volunteer for the boys and girls club i mean you you can't <laughs> like you know and it, uh, and she's donate she's like oh i donate money and i when i hire artists i pay them so much and it's like girl like that doesn't make you a good person because you still doing wrong you still doing wrong and she does that she love bombs and she overcompensates and she overpays because she's trying to convince herself that she's a good person. She's trying to create a good ego. And it's like, girl, that's not how it works. You really just need to get off the internet and go, go volunteer at the soup kitchen. I mean, God damn it. You know? So anyway, thanks for listening to my babble. Um, uh, enjoy the tea. I'm just another video that showed up on your on your feed. Um, if you're into me, subscribe. I am I've hired an editor. Honey, I just I just messaged somebody off a of Discord server. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see what he do. But um I'm excited to like actually start 
having better quality content. So anyway, if you're into me, subscribe because uh, you, you're in for a treat. And until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.